we ask that uh, you continue supporting the house program. Many county governments have made land available and we are very, very grateful. And we want to urge that those who have not been able to identify land for the affordable housing program to continue doing so, so that we can create affordable housing for our people. And this is a program between the counties and the national government, and we ask for your support. <clears throat> there is a matter that we have been handling on drugs and substance abuse. And the truth of the matter is that after a few meetings with stakeholders, in Rift Valley, in the central Kenya region, in the coast region and other areas, it has been established that after the advent of devolution and the function of licensing was removed from Nakada to the county governments, everything seems to have gone haywire. As a result, almost every establishment in the rural setting has been licensed as a bar and restaurant that has created a huge problem with our security officers. They are not able to deal with uh, drunkenness. They are not able to deal with illicit brews because every establishment is licensed by the county government. We are requesting the county governments to consider to partner with the national government administration, with NACADA, with the National Police Service, and create one committee that can look into the issues of licensing as well as the Ministry of uh, Health so that we can work together to harmonize the licensing policy. As it is, the matter is out of hand and we are unable as a national government to police the distribution of illicit liquor because it's finding its way into licensed establishments by the county governments and it becomes difficult to take action against people who are licensed. We'll be proposing through the COG a multi-sectoral approach to issues of licensing so that the National Police Service can give an input, the National Government Administration can give an input, and ACADA can give an input so that we can bring some sanity into the issues of licensing. Again, we are asking the county governments to consider the establishment of rehabilitation centers in each and every county to deal with the patients. Even as we try to fight alcoholism and drug abuse, the truth of the matter is that quite a sensible uh, portion of the population is addicted and is sick and requires medical attention. As you are aware, our governors, Treatment of addicts is very, very, very expensive. The private clinics are charging something between 100 to 150,000 per month, and the addicts require a minimum of three months. At 400, 450,000, it's beyond the reach of many people, and therefore we're asking the county governments to consider the establishment of rehabilitation centers. As the national government, we are willing to have a discussion on how we can partner how the, how the national government can try to create a conditional grant to a certain extent, and the county government can do the rest so that we establish rehabilitation centers in each and every county. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your cooperation in the fertilizer subsidy program that has been going on for the last few months. After the registration of farmers, there was a lot of cooperation from the county governments in establishing the last mile a distribution network. Many governors were able to establish sub depots and provide transport and also communicate with the farmers. And I want to ask, even as we go for the short trains, a similar program is underway. I request that we continue cooperating uh, for our farmers. I want once more to say that we have given instructions to our officers in the counties, the county commissioners, the security teams, to create a good working relationship with the governors and the county governments because we serve the same people. And so far, we have not had any complaints from the county governments, from the governors. And I invite you at any one time, if you have challenges with our officers from the national government in matters cooperation, I'm available to be able to make the right interventions. I want to take this opportunity to thank the governors from counties, 
that were hit by drought, for the cooperation that I received from the governors and their governments as we dealt with the worst drought in 40 years. Through good cooperation between ourselves and the county governments, we were able to make the various interventions and we made sure that no Kenyan died from drought. And we are grateful to God for the good rains and for what is happening in the counties. And we appreciate that we are not yet out of the woods. We continue to make interventions to support uh, our people and livelihoods in areas of food and in areas of livestock. All revenue generated from licensing of bars and other establishments be availed specifically to deal with rehabilitation <clears throat> and advocacy so that we can deal with the challenges that are emerging from this situation. We'll be making a proposal through the COG of how that can be done so that all the revenues that are collected from uh, these establishments is specifically uh, domiciled for the issues of rehabilitation and advocacy, empowering an ACADA and all those interventions that are required so that we can be able to save our people. I wanted to bring to the attention of governors in the coffee growing counties that we have a stakeholders conference in Meru starting Thursday the 8th all the way to Friday to Saturday. We'll be checking out on Sunday morning to have a stakeholders conference to discuss matters coffee, to look at the various laws, to look at the various interventions on how we can make interventions in that subsector that used to be the leading foreign exchange earner for this country and today is a poor fifth and production has gone down because of poor prices. That conference is very, very important and we do urge the governors and the CECs from those areas to attend in person so that we can engage with all the other stakeholders and at the end of the conference we can come up with measures and laws and other interventions on how to restore the coffee subsector to make it a gainful uh, way of farming where farmers can get a commensurate return for their sweat and where we can increase production thereby earning the country the much desired foreign exchange. <clears throat> Partnering with the national government in issues of land adjudication and issuing of title deeds to your respective people in your counties. We have had a good cooperation arrangement with the county government of Narok that has gone very well. The county government of Narok came and approached the national government and indicated their willingness to partner in this matter and they were able to provide funding for surveyors from the national government and as a result already we have issued 5,000 titles in a narrow quest constituency and another 10,000 titles are underway. I want to request counties that have challenges with issues of land adjudication, especially in Northern Kenya, the counties of Meru and others where issues of land adjudication have not been dealt with since independence for the governors to consider how we can partner with the national government so that we can work together to speed up uh, the issues of land adjudication and issuing of title deeds to, to the land owners so that they can be able to use collateral. They can have the title deeds as collateral to borrow money to develop their land and to increase their farming.